dude, we're running in six and a half hours. I tried to different, different subject. I <laughs> can't yeah, different subject. It's one in the fucking morning. We have to wake up in like five hours. <laughs> I can't. I can't sleep. I fucking need a bro. I should have Good morning! <laughs> Welcome to Half Marathon Day. How are you feeling? Anxious. <laughs> So Unprepared. Unprepared. <laughs> oh, it is another word. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just not ready. So, yeah. how much sleep did you get? Probably like an hour and a half. But I feel good. <laughs> I slept. I think I slept for like four hours. Or yeah, something. you slept like, a good amount. It was funny though because every time I'd wake up, if I woke up in the middle of the night, Mora's over there just scrolling through her phone. <laughs> And now we're going to the freeway. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> no, we're no, no, we're right, turn left, turn left at the light. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to the race. <laughs> Can't wait. We'll see you guys at the start line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we saw it. It was the wrong line. <laughs> this isn't the start. <laughs> We found our pacing. Four, three, two, one. Everyone starts with a nice walk. Stroll. <laughs> mad at me because my walk is her run so she made me run ahead of her and I'm sad because I wanted to run with her the whole time I think we're almost the mile four and we're not feeling good at all I highly regret leaving Mora because it's so lonely and so quiet and we have no headphones I should be somewhere almost around mile five. This sucks. Oh my God, my braid got stuck in my zipper for a good three minutes. And I was running like this, because I couldn't get my head out. We hit five. It happened again. Ow. It's officially snack time. I'm so hungry right now. Ugh. Nicole, be lucky I'm doing this for you. Four and a half miles in. You were way ahead of me, girl. miles in. It's super quiet out here <laughs> and it's so awkward and my water is so loud. <laughs> All right, Nicole, I got only video in for you. 6.8 miles in. I'm pretty sure I'm dead last. <laughs> I have to pee so bad. Whenever the next porta potty is here, and it's mine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pass them to use them. Oh my god, no, no. Uh, no. I have to pee so bad, but I'm not going that extra distance for that porta potty when I know damn well there are a few scattered on the side. 
Mile 10 is coming up. Y'all remember what happened to me at mile 10 last time. I was done. As you can see, the scenery in this section is impeccable. Take a look. Wow. Rocks. All right, Nicole. Checking in with you one more time. I'm coming up on 10 miles, which means I've gone the furthest I've ever gotten in my entire life. Mile 11, two to go. I'm in pain. Oh my God. I literally just farted and ran away from somebody. It was loud. She heard me and I ran. By the way, we just passed mile 12. I forgot to take a video of the marker, but one mile to go. One more. I hear people. <laughs> gentlemen, we did it. The guy handed me two of these and I can't eat that much, but I said, oh no, just one. And he said, no, two. All right, now we gotta wait for Mora to finish. Oh my God, a mariachi band. <laughs> Less than a mile left, Nicole. But my body has given up. Mora is coming in hot. Yeah! Woo! You guys, we did it. We did it. <laughs> I had passed a porta potty that was in a parking lot, and it was like hella far. I was like, I'm not walking that extra to get into that porta potty. And then there was another one like a mile later, and I was like, okay, I'll take it. And me and the guy walked up to it at the exact same time. And I was like, oh, you can have it. And he's like, no, you got here first. And I was like, great. So now he's standing outside waiting for oh, me to be that. done. Yeah. And then I was in there and it's like a surfboard, my dude. Like I literally stepped foot in the whole toilet. And I almost fell, like I almost fell off the toilet. And I was like, oh my God. And I heard him laugh outside. He like was convinced that it was going to topple when I was sitting in it. I was, well, I couldn't tell. I was like, am I lightheaded or dizzy or did that just happen? And then I was like, no, that just happened. All right, we got Amora down. I think she's got some heat exhaustion. It got really hot outside, but the car is so much further from the start than, cause they moved everything around. So I am walking to go get the car and I'm gonna pick her up from the original parking lot. We had to park down the street. Mm -hmm. 